What's going on guys? Hope you're doing amazing. In this video, I want to show you how to implement a bidirectional LSTM in uh, PyTorch. So what we're going to do is uh, I have some code set up here, um, which is just uh, some very, very simple code, uh, some training loop, check accuracy, um, and the loading the MNIST data set. Uh, this is from a previous video if you want to check this out. And uh, what we want to do is we want to create a bidirectional LSTM. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to do class. Let's call it um, bidirectional BRNN. And we're going to inherit NN module. And we're going to do define init. And yeah, let me j just mention here that so uh, what we have is we have the MNIST data set. And the MNIST data set we can view as um, having 28 uh, sequences, which each has 28 features. So the image is a 28 by 28 grid. Uh, so we can kind of unroll it row by row. And we can feed that to the RNN uh, sequentially so that each, we have 28 time steps and each time step just takes a single row of the, of the image. And uh, then we just have some number of layers that we're going to use. We have the hidden size of the RNN, just some hyperparameters and uh, a number of classes, learning rate, etc. So we're going to send in to the bidirectional RNN. It's just the input size, the hidden size, the number of layers, and the number of classes. And we're going to do super brnn self, and then dot uh, init, and then we're going to do self.hidden size is just hidden size. Self.num layers is just num layers. And then we're going to define our LSTM. And we're going to do nn.lstm uh, input size and then hidden size, number of layers. And that's just sort of the order where we send it in. And then we're going to do batch first equals true for, for the MNIST data set, which has batches as the, as the first axis. And then just to make it bidirectional, all we have to do is bidirectional uh, equals true. So easy enough, I guess. And then we're going to do self.fully connected is nn.linear. And we're going to do hidden uh, size to number of classes. And then, so we know forward, just one thing that we need to keep in mind is that, well, we need to define our hidden state and also the cell state that we're going to send into LSTM. And, uh, yeah, so let's do that. H0 will be our hidden state. Torch.zeros, and we're going to do self.num layers. And then we're going to times that by 2. And uh, why we do that is that, so we have self the number of layers, uh, but we also have, uh, let's see, so we have, so we have self the number of layers, and uh, then we need to times it by 2, since we have 1, of them going forward and one of them going backward, uh, but they're all going to get concatenated into the same for the same uh, specific hidden state. So we need to just expand this uh, this uh, tensor by two uh, in this axis, and then we're going to do x dot size of zero, just the number of examples we send in, and so the batch size, and then self dot hidden size, and then just dot to device. Okay, and uh, Actually, we need to do that here as well. So the NN linear will take the hidden size by times two, since for the same argument, we have one going forward, one going backward, and they're gonna get concatenated. And uh, that's sort of the hidden uh, hidden state for that particular time sequence. Um, yeah, just some background from bidirectional LSTM. I'm, I'm sort of assuming in this video that you, you know um, the theory behind it. And this is just a sort of the implementation of it. And uh, yeah, so we, we can just copy this for the cell state. And uh, then we all need, we just need to sort of run the LSTM and uh, h0 comma cell state in a tuple. And what would be the output here uh, is, the, is, the cell, is the hidden state and then the cell state. But we're not really going to use those. So we can just uh, remove uh, or we, we don't have to look at that output and then we're just going to do out is out uh, self.fc of out and we're just going to take 
uh, the last hidden state to send into the, the linear layer and then we're just going to return out and uh, yeah all we need to do here is we need to initialize the network with the brnn and uh, this should be ready to run so i'm going to run this for i guess two epochs and let's see what, what kind of results we get so training for two epochs we get nine about 97 percent accuracy which is i guess not too great uh but yeah we just trained for two epochs so uh, you could i guess expand this as well and you would probably get a lot better accuracy uh but yeah that was that's pretty much it for the um bidirectional lstm if you have any questions leave them in the comment uh otherwise thank you so much for watching the video and i hope to see you uh, in the next one